guys, it's happening. Calm down. The Bloxburg band wave is in full effect. And oh my gosh, when I woke up, Twitter was blowing up. If you guys don't know, I streamed yesterday saying band wave is here. And basically, there was a start of the band wave. And guys, it has gone out of control. If you type in Bloxburg ban on Twitter, there are so many people getting banned here. This Bloxburg ban wave is about to be so funny. And look at that. It's May 2nd and it's uh, it's happening. I have been banned for three days. I cannot regain access. Bloxburg going to zero active players after the ban wave. I would like to report an unfair situation I am regard experience regarding my ban in Bloxburg. I was unexpectedly and unjustly banned due to a supposed money bug. So people are getting banned and that's also what we saw in yesterday stream a ton of you guys also got banned yesterday and it's in full effect now and uh, some of you guys might be confused why are people getting banned there was a Bloxburg money glitch going around and people were making trillions and billions of dollars uh, this person over here made 17.3 billion dollars and look at this picture guys look at all their eggs look how happy he is being the richest man in Bloxburg with 17 billion dollars it's insane uh, but the biggest concern here is why is Bloxburg banning people when this was a bug in the game and you know people are allowed to do bugs and not like you know downloading hacks and exploits so why are people getting banned well good news to everybody who has been banned i think you're gonna get unbanned because if you guys don't remember there was another bug in the game uh with the infinite chandelier money glitch this was what two years ago and this was a huge thing basically you got a ton of chandeliers and you got to get a ton of money i never tried this out but um i did make a video on it and stuff so people got tons of money off of this not billions of dollars but people got like thousands of dollars here and there so it's basically the same thing as the chandelier hack and during the chandelier one people were also getting banned for that but the good news is guys during the chandelier hack after they banned a couple people and took away all of the money that was made the bugged money i would say they unbanned those people so if you guys have gotten banned just write an appeal and you probably will get unbanned eventually i don't know when but we'll have to wait and see i don't know how long the chandelier hack banners got unbanned but maybe ask one of those also a lot of people are just a little confused because blocks per goal hasn't really said anything about the the ban wave or anything like that they haven't really spoken out about it and i do think that blocks should have a little bit of a pr team like just put out a statement like you will be getting unbanned we're just taking like the money away or something like that just something a little quick so not everybody is uh you know jumping to conclusions so, but blocks hasn't said anything but i'm just going off of the stuff that we knew about the chandelier um incident so guys if you are a band, I, 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 I think that you will get your accounts back. So I don't know when, but they should be coming back if it's like the chandelier hack. <laughs> because I also agree that everybody should stay banned. I think it's just for them to take the money away uh, so you don't use it further. And then they can give you your account back uh, because it is a game. It's a bug in the game, not really a hack that you download. There's also some other news. Bloxburg has been scamming us. If you guys don't know when Bloxburg updated, you can see the prices are a little bit low. Um, like these window frames were only $15 and some other prices here and there. And well, they upped the prices. And I think this is because they probably, when they updated, it was from the test server and they didn't fix a couple things. Um, but people are mad that they upped the prices. I feel like this has happened before as well when they accidentally made things too cheap and then they had to go up back and up the price. But I want to see how much it costs now compared to what it costs. So let's go over here and let's go ahead on over to build mode real quick. Uh, let's go to decorate and we have oh but it's taking a while to load. Aha, uh -huh, and as you can see, the window arch is $320 and the pointed arch is $400. Uh, and when it updated, it was only $15 each, which is a steal. But I mean, they did fix this because I do think it came from the testing server and they had to fix it eventually. And that was like 160. The stairs were 3,000. Okay, that was the same. Majority of these are the same. This door was 290, but now it's 400. And then this was 175, 474. Okay, yeah, most of these are pretty much the same. Some of them were just messed up and they, they switched it so that is what that is you were not getting scammed or anything like that guys uh, um they just have to fix things uh uh, usually. I, this happened before, I'm pretty sure. Also, we have another concept by Jack, and he made a game booster GUI. This is giving me simulator vibes, but I feel like this would be cool in other ways. Uh, but some game boosters, uh, some moods, plus five minutes before fainting. You can boost it for 2,000. Uh, you can boost this for 3,000, which is minus 20% hospital bills. And then for work, times more money each minute. Uh, and you can boost that for 4K, or you can use Bloxbox as well. I do 
do like this idea to an extent. It does give me simulator vibes. So instead of buying with money, I or like not even money actually. Maybe it could be like a drink in the game or like an energy drink. Like if you drink an energy drink, it like boosts your moods with blocks bucks or something. Maybe that would be a better solution um, because it is giving me simulator vibes. So I don't know, but I think it would be fun to have some boosting of nature. But I don't know how to combat that with simulator. But let me know what you guys think. Does this give it too many simulator vibes? Would you guys like you be able? To, uh, guys, I can't talk. <laughs> I've been having a lot of coffee. Would you guys like be having? Would you guys like to have game boosters in the game? Maybe they could make it more realistic by not having like a little thing where you can buy it, uh, but like maybe some energy drinks that you can drink and stuff like that from the fridge. I think that would be a lot cooler in Bloxburg perspective. But I do like the idea of having some game boosters. Also, I just posted a short. Uh, it's a really funny short, but I did hit my head with a keyboard, and I think I have a concussion now, guys. I can like feel it in my forehead. So if you already watched my short, go do so and leave a like on it. My head hurts so bad. Oh my gosh. Maybe that's why I can't talk. Anyways, there we have it, guys. That is the little insight on the Bloxburg money glitch bans and all that. So if you guys still have any questions, I can answer them down in the description. I mean, in the comments. I feel like I have a little bit more um, insight on, on how Bloxburg works and things like that just because I've been playing for so many years. So if your friends are confused or anything like that, share this video with them and hopefully this helps them. So if you guys are banned, guys, don't worry. I think you will get your accounts back once they uh, take your money away. Um, it's just like the infinite uh, chandelier glitch that happened. People got banned, but then they reverted it and they just took your money away. So um, hopefully everyone will get their accounts back. We'll just have to wait and see when they do. And maybe they will uh, talk about it on Twitter or something. Hopefully they make a statement. But that is Ashley's news. I've been putting so many news videos out. I hope you're enjoying them. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, turn that notification on so you guys never miss a video. And make sure to come to my streams. I stream every day. So I'll see you guys there. Bye.